Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Before I begin, like the video, put on your notification so you know when my up next video uploads. And if you like the video, come down in the comments also, section. Also, I'm going to need y'all to subscribe too, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Let me begin by saying, all things that I say is alleged, in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Hey everybody, welcome to another segment of Remember When. This segment is of Letitia and Marcel and another moment where he embarrasses her on national TV. Are we surprised? Let's go. How do you say this? I'm not saying that we disrepresent that we come from different sides of the track. We're, we're, we're what the hell is that supposed to mean? Different sides of the track. I'm saying it. Tisha, it means exactly what it means, okay? I'm saying it's that. Don't go there with Tisha. I'm not, listen, Tisha, I'm not saying Listen, just listen. I just like that statement. What do you mean about different sides of the track? Let me help you out. It was a derogatory statement, meaning his side of the family is better than your side of the family. But he's going to gaslight you and say all kinds of things and turn it around and make it seem like it's your fault that he said it. That look he's giving her is a look of confusion because he used to saying whatever he wants to teach her and her not rebutting it. She finally saying something because she don't like what he said and he confused. Like, oh, shoot. Now watch him turn this whole thing that he said around on Tisha. I think you're getting a little, little, little more. Well, because you're saying, like, what are you saying? Let's look at what you're You see how he mocking her with the hands gesture? Like saying, uh-oh, here go this girl from the projects, for no lack of a better word. Because that's exactly what he's inferring. In my opinion. In my opinion only. Tisha know exactly what he meant when he said that. She just shocked that he said it while they filming it on national TV. You've been married me for 14 years. Different sides of the track doesn't mean positive or negative. Let me put in where the phrase came from. Because he about to gas like the fuck out of you, okay? See, Tisha's offended because she know that she's from the other side of the track, okay? Marceau said it, as you heard her say, he always said that they're opposite. He's never said we're from the other sides of the track. And it offends her. Although she worked hard, she's got her education, she got all these degrees, for her husband to say this to her is offensive. And he don't get it. He don't get it and he gonna flip it back on her. And it's so sad. He gives an example of being at the wedding and you could draw a line down the middle and you could see who's from where on each side. That's so incorrect because you don't know people's lives. You don't know what people do. Like how you just gonna make an assumption like that? Just say what you say and say what you mean. That Tisha family was from the other side of the tracks as you mentioned 50, 11 times in that episode. <laughs> Who said that? Sounded like Portia. So he said, he said at the wedding, you could draw a line down the middle and see who comes from where. That shit is offensive too. He thinking he's saying something smart, but that shit is offensive too. See, the issue for me is Marceau think he's smarter than a fifth grader. And Tisha falls for this shit all the time. Like, it's the gaslighting for me and shutting Tisha down. And it's like Tisha don't have a voice in whenever he's talking. And it's not fair. Maybe it's a Southern thing, but mm -mm, I couldn't do it, in my opinion, and allegedly. And I win. I said this from day one when I said I've never seen a, an adult drink until I was damn near in college. Just because you never seen anybody drink because you was damn near in college doesn't make them from the other side of the track. You is gaslighting the fuck out of this. 
Because when he was talking about my family. He was assuming that I was talking negatively about them. Right. Right. About me. And he was, Tisha. He was trying to be sarcastic about it, but he was. He just expected you to sit there as like usual and not say nothing. So Tisha lets him know by saying other side of the track, you're trying to say that you're up here and I'm down here. And it's not like that. And another thing she was trying to say is that you're saying that about my family. And he keeps saying it's about you. It's about you. It's still offensive, Marcel. Here comes the reverse psychology, so he thinks. Well, for Tisha, because I see right through that shit. So, Marceau says to her, why can't it be you're up here and I'm down here? She had a reverse psychology. And Tisha was like, why would you say that then? Why would you say it? Again, Tisha know exactly what's in, what it means. She just want to know why would he say it to her? I didn't mean it in a bad way. Well, I don't understand why you're saying. Like the woman I chose, is, uh, like I have a problem with the woman I chose. Well, I don't know, because you just made that statement. So Marceau goes on to say, well, Tisha lets him know that by him saying that it's offensive. He said, oh, that's a trigger word. Why don't you write down some more trigger words so I know not what to say. He is so disrespectful. He's being a smart ass because you let him be that way for your 16 years of marriage some respect on my marriage ask your husband to put some respect on your marriage you get to this emotional fit because you're acting like I was just being offensive to you you were being offensive to her that statement alone is offensive the fuck So right there, he just confirmed that he meant what he said for him to come turn back around and say that. So Tisha goes into this soliloquy about how she was teased in school because she was from the other side of the tracks and it didn't make her feel good. He cuts her off and tells her that so what she was teased in school. Like no empathy for her at all. Obviously it affects her. And that's why she worked so hard to get these degrees that you don't let her use. That you let her get for fun. The fact that he's so insensitive to her getting emotional about it is a problem. But I can guarantee you Tisha never told him how she feels about her being from the other side of the track. So he just don't give a fuck. Because he going to be right in this situation. So Marceau proceeds to tell her that that's her issue, that she feels the way she feel about her family. He said that his family was homeless at times. To me, that just proves that you meant what you said about her family being from the other side of the track. Still said that her family was from the other side of the tracks, and you meant what you said, you said what you said. So at this point, you should be able to empathize with her about why she's getting so emotional. But because she came back at you and you ain't expect that, you're going to make her look bad for feeling the way she feel. All right? Sleeping on the church floor. So who am I? You think I'm going to take jabs at your family? That's stupid. And I'd never do it. And I've never done it. So you damn to the mother. All right? Look how he talking to her like that's his child. And she's sitting there like, okay. Tisha, I wish you would have stood ten toes down on how you felt about what he said. So Marceau was insisting that he was not talking about her family. He was talking about Tisha. Um, Tisha came from somewhere. Okay? Like, the reverse psychology is real. And Tisha just sitting there with tears in her eyes. And he ain't giving her nothing for those tears. Nothing. Like, the fact that he the one that said she came from the other side of the track and tried to flip it on Tisha like this is all her fault, that this conversation is going this way, is just unreal to me. And in my opinion, you did take jabs about her family and where they come from. Remember, you just said other side of the tracks. Because I've never done it. Okay. I'm not going to accept that. 
this dude is so insensitive. Again, I wish Tisha would have stood ten toes down on what she meant and how she felt about him saying that. You're being extra right now. And you know what? You know what? You're making it serious, and it doesn't have to be serious. You're making it. It's serious to her. The fact that as her husband, you can't understand. Marcel, you a smart man. You a word. Well, you think you're a wordsmith. You know exactly what you said, and you know exactly what you meant when you said from the other side of the tracks. You know exactly what you meant to say. You see that statement right there he just said? He know how to handle himself, and she don't. Because she was supposed to sit there and let him say whatever he wanted to say, and her not rebut it. The fact that she keep explaining to him how she feel and why that statement made her feel that way and he don't get it is an issue. It's a problem. Ain't no sense in getting defensive about that. He done said this statement in this little segment more than at least three or four times. You meant what you said. That's how you feel. But you want her to get over it. Especially when it's a trigger for her. Interesting. I like that. A simple apology would have been nice at this point. But nope. Mm -mm. Marceau can't do it. Then Marceau got the nerve to ask Tisha why would she get defensive. Because he doesn't take it offensively. He don't think it's a bad thing. But she was offended. And why can't she have a right to say that she was offended? In my opinion. She got defensive because that derogatory statement came from her husband. The one person that's supposed to protect her. You can see the hurt all in her face and all he could say is you got to deal with it. A simple apology for making her feel a way about what you said would have just been nice. That's all it would have took. 